Eloy's dog running around town unleashed, heads for a butcher shop and steals a roast. The butcher goes to the lawyer's office and asks, if a dog running unleashed steals a piece of meat from my store, do I have a right to demand payment for the meat from the dog's owner? The lawyer answers, absolutely. Then you owe me $10. Your dog was loose and stole a roast from me today. The lawyer, without a word, writes the butcher a check for $10. The butcher, with a feeling of satisfaction, leaves. Three days later, the butcher finds a bill from the lawyer for $100 for consultation. Lawyers are pretty smart. Jesus promised to give his followers a super smart lawyer the best of gifts, the Holy Spirit, as their counselor and helper. From Easter to Pentecost, our readings focus on the early apostolic preaching of the good news of salvation and on the promises of Jesus to his disciples, especially his promise of the Holy Spirit. Today's readings explain who the Holy Spirit is, what his roles are, and how we can experience him in our daily lives. How does the Holy Spirit help us as the counselor? Counselor is a legal term for one who defends someone against an adversary and who guides that person during the ordeal of trial. The Holy Spirit is our advocate and helper who guides and strengthens us and brings us safely through the challenges and adversities we must face in this life. We need to be open to the Holy Spirit, our paraclete. The purpose of the indwelling Holy Spirit is to help us grow toward maturity and wholeness. We all have faults that prevent our growth, blocks, of sin and imperfection, blocks due to childhood conflicts, blocks due to deeply ingrained personality traits and habits, blocks caused by addictions, and blocks resulting from bad choices we have made. We all have these blocks, or at least some of them, within us, and they keep us from becoming what God wants us to be. They prevent us from growing into maturity and wholeness. God, the Holy Spirit, helps us see the truth about ourselves to discern the blocks that inhibit our growth and transform us. The Holy Spirit actually lives in us and we hear his voice counseling and guiding us in the way of truth. Let us open the ears of our minds to hear him and to obey his promptings. Jesus also promised his followers the gift of peace. He said, My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Peace is more than the absence of conflict or trouble. Peace includes everything which makes for our highest good. Let us thank the Lord for this great gift, and let us ask for the grace to live by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit fill us with the knowledge of Christ's immense love and with his gift of peace, especially at this challenging time of COVID-19. God bless.